watching this TV game show, so you think you're a brain box. And, you know, I'd love to know where they get the stupid people trying to answer the questions from. What's that, Sooty? They're just ordinary people. What? You mean like you and me? I don't think so. I think they're aliens from the planet Brainless. <laughs> Any idiot could answer those questions. <laughs> Even you? Well, uh, well, I could. That's a certainty. I expect you think you could answer these questions really easily. Yes, I do! Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to be on the show and a chance to win one million pounds, then call this number right now. Oh, <laughs> I could do that easily. <coughs> you too, yes, sweet, maybe. Mm. Hey, why don't we? <gasps> All right, come on then, sweet, you might as well have a try. You couldn't do any worse than that lot. Morning! Morning! Any letters? Yeah, there's one for you. Oh. One for Sweet. And the rest are Bill's. What's that, Sooty? Why does Bill get so many letters? No, I mean Bill's, you know, things to pay. <laughs> Who's Bill? Nobody, Sweet. I was just telling Sooty that these... Wow! It's from the TV company. You know, the quiz game, so you think you're a brain box. Really? Wow. Who's yours from, sweet? Let's have a look. Oh, look. Yours is from the TV company as well. Shall I read it? Right. They want me to appear on the quiz game tomorrow night. They want you to appear on the quiz game tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? That's very short notice. Tomorrow night? That's very short notice. Hang on, Richard. Is there an echo in here, or did you just say that they want you to appear on the quiz show so you think you're a brain box tomorrow night? Yes. But, but that means you'll be competing against Sweep. <gasps> oh, yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Sweep. When I win the million pounds, I won't forget you. I'll buy you a bone. <laughs> That's right, Sooty. He'll have to win first. Oh, I don't think that'll be too difficult. Do you? He's Sweep, I feel sorry for. Me too. It would really teach Richard a lesson, Sweep beat him in that TV quiz. Yeah, that would bring him down a peg or two. Hmm. We're talking about Sweep and Richard appearing on So You Think You're a Brain Box. And quite frankly, Richard is being a bit unbearable. <laughs> a bit? Hello, staff. Are you going to do any work around here today? It is your turn to wash up. Well, I'd love to, but I really feel I need to rest my brain in time for the quiz show. But you can test me if you like. Come on, ask me anything, anything at all. All right. Sport. <laughs> How? Many people watched the World Cup match between Brazil and Uruguay in 1950. That'll get him. <laughs> Too easy. 199,854. <gasps> yes? What were their names? <laughs> they won't ask that! They might! Exactly! You don't know what they might ask. It is for a million pounds, after all. Oh, uh, I better do some more swatting. Good idea! <laughs> oh, I just wish Sweet could beat him. Yes, that's right, Sooty. He could if we helped him. <laughs> then why don't you? <laughs> Checking Sweet's general knowledge. Okay, Sweep, name four jungle animals. <laughs> Three monkeys and a giraffe? No, Sweep, I mean four different animals. Do you think we might need a plan to make Sweep cleverer? <laughs> yes, Sooty, I think we definitely do need a plan. <laughs> right, this is the plan. We're going to hypnotise Sweep so that we can cram his brain with facts. That way he's bound to beat Richard in the quiz. How's it going, Sooty? Sooty, wake up! Well, that's better. <clears throat> now, Sweep, are you asleep? <coughs> Good. Now, I'm going to tell you lots of stuff and I want you to remember it all. Now, are you ready? 
Good. Let's hope this works. The capital of England is London. There's no proper name for the back of the knee. Football is played with a football. The spear on the hippopotamus is eaten. And the Battle of Hastings was fought in 1066. Oh, oh um, that should be enough. Don't you think, Sooty? Too much is giving you a headache? Well, you're not the one who's going to answer the questions. But we must make sure that Sweep beats Richard at all costs. Now, Sweep, when I say, wake up, you will wake up and forget everything. They always say that. I don't know why. Wake up! <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> what do you mean, Sweep? <coughs> Who's Sweep? <coughs> oh, no! Sweep really has forgotten everything, including his own name. <coughs> ah! Something's just struck me. We need another plan. Sooty, get Scampy. <coughs> Genius! Richard stands no chance now. Look at this. Scamp has invented a special radio thing that lets Sooty tell Sweep the answers to the questions. Watch. I'll show you. Now, Sweep, what's the capital of England? <coughs> what's England? <coughs> oh, he still hasn't got his memory back, I'm afraid. But he doesn't really need it. Just listen to Sooty, Sweep, and he'll tell you the answer. Now, what's the capital of England? <coughs> You don't need to test it. It's working perfectly. Just say the answer. Now, what is the capital of England? <coughs> London! That's right! Now, what action do you use to clear leaves? <coughs> Sweet! That's right! Now, who cleans chimneys? <coughs> Sweet! <coughs> That's right! Well done, Sooty. And you, Sweep. <coughs> this is and you, Scampy. As long as you remember to bring along that answer book, there's absolutely no way that Richard's going to win. <laughs> <coughs> So. No, oh, yes, he'll beat Richard easily. You seem very confident. We are. Richard doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> he hasn't got a special wig. <laughs> what does he mean? Nothing. More nerves. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Of course we. Ah, Liana, you yeah? couldn't run a line over this shirt, could you? Yeah, that's right, I couldn't. Sorry, Richard, but if you'd have spent more time getting ready and less time going on about how clever you were. Oh, no, fine. I'll iron my own shirt. Don't worry about me. And the only suit I've got to wear is my magic stage suit. But don't worry. I'll be fine. Right, I'll see you all later at the TV studio. And may the best man win. Don't you mean dog? I don't think so. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when you beat him, Sweep. <coughs> Who's Sweep? <coughs> oh, how many more times? You are the Let's go! Come on! Sweep seems very odd. I just hope there's nothing funny going on. After all, I know how desperate they all are to beat Richard. And that might make them think about cheating. Nah, they might think about it, but they never do it. Right? TV studios, here we come! Where do you think you're going? Oh, Sweep's a contestant on tonight, so you think you're a brain box. Oh, is he now? Uh, and how do I know you're not lying? Because we're not! <coughs> ah, says you. You're not fooling me, you know. I'm smart, me. In fact, I'm so smart, I could be on that, uh, you think you're the brain box. Then why don't you? Uh, well, if you had a million pounds, I'd, uh, I'd have to give this job up and I like it too much. No, no, uh, nothing gets past me and that includes you. The tables, the presenter, and you must be the contestants. I always try to meet them first. Yes, uh, this is sweet. Yeah, okay. Uh, would you like to follow me to the dressing room? But, uh, uh, Carly, I'll vouch uh, for these people. Uh, uh, any friend of yours is a f uh, friend of mine. Was Sweep 
settles in his dressing room, Sooty and Stampy have found the perfect place to hide with their transmitter. The question is, how to get up there? Stand clear, Sooty. <laughs> System. Hello, what's this? Some unauthorised electrical equipment interfering with the security monitors. Stay calm, Colin. Oh no! It could be time to panic, Sooty. Now the important thing here is don't panic. Just stay calm. No, take it from me, love. Listen, you'll be fine. <laughs> you don't think your hair's a bit over the top, though, do you? Uh, it's his lucky wig, apparently. Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but I couldn't have your autograph, could I? Yeah, of course you can, love. What's your name? Ariana. Oh, and so are not. Oh, listen, well, I've got my pen out. Can I have your autograph? I'm a huge fan. Of course you can. <coughs> oh, and Sooty! Oh, I can't believe me, look. Do you know this is a dream come true? Say no more, Sooty. Look, I'll do it later, Liz. I've got a rush. Bye! <coughs> Typical of stars, you know. Got no time for the fans. But where's she going? I'd say there was something going on. Do you know, I, I really think we ought to be into the studio, actually. I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Nesta. I, I'm on the lookout for illegal electrical equipment. Oh, Colin, there's no illegal electrical equipment in here. Unless she count Sweep's hair, which looks as if he's had a nasty electric shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm only joking. You know, we really need to be get to the studio now. You see, the important thing is not to panic. Everything is going to be absolutely fine if you relax, if yeah. you breathe. Well, I'll have to be going as well. Good luck, Sweep. Honestly, that air. Uh... Oh. Have we got nothing to worry about, Sooty? I need to know. You just want Sweet to win? Well, we all do. I mean, Richard's been an absolute pain, but I think the mate. That's why Scampy built the transmitter. All right. Uh, what transmitter? Oh, I'm not too sure about this suit. It's the one I wear for my magic act. Still, I suppose I can go straight in. Security doesn't seem to be up to much. I've not trapped him down yet. This'll sort him out. Here we go. Come on, Sooty. Let's find Sue Scampy and that transmitter. Hi there, I'm Nesta Tables and welcome to tonight's live edition of So You Think You're a Brain Box, the show that gives ordinary, simple people like you at home the chance to win one million pounds. And not just ordinary simple people like you because tonight we've got a very special contestant it is sweep the dog now you know what to do Stampy. sweep gets asked a question you look up the answer i tell sweep and sweep tells nestor okay good ready no don't look that up i'm just asking you if you're ready are you good and our second contestant tonight, please give a warm hand for Richard. <laughs> you know, we thought you weren't going to get here tonight, Richard. Are you all right? Yes, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> OK, so let's play tonight. So you think you're a brain box. Let's start with a real easy question, shall we? Richard, for £100, can you tell me how do you start a teddy bear race? It's too easy. You say, ah, fire! <laughs> ah, fire. No, that's not the right answer, Mr. Scene Stealer. The question passes on to Sweep. Sweep, how do you start a teddy bear race? <laughs> oh, oh, how do you start a teddy bear race, Gamby? Oh, yes, of course. The answer is ready, teddy, go, sweep. <laughs> the answer is ready, teddy, go, sweep. Yes, that's the right answer, sweep. You've won yourself £100. Now stand by for the next question. What is the capital of America? 
Come on, sweet. What is the capital of America? <coughs> Hurry up, Scampy. What's the answer? I know. <coughs> Clever clogs. Come on, sweet. Would you like to phone a friend? Hello? Scampy? Where are you? What are you doing phoning me? No! Don't phone Richard! Sue? Is that you? No, it's not me. It's the wrong number! I'm afraid, sweet, we're going to have to give you a ten-second countdown. <laughs> We are? Well, I thought you knew the way. You do, but you've forgotten it. Well, that's a lot of use. Oh, hide! Aha! Now I've got him! Oh, no! I think he's found someone scampy. Come on! Sweep, I'm going to have to hurry up. Um, is that your final answer? Stop the show! Somebody is cheating. Cheating? Yes, somebody is cheating, and that somebody is you. <gasps> I'm not cheating. This machine does not lie. I'm arresting you for cheating. Something. <laughs> yeah, we know you're sweet. He's got his memory back. Oh no! And he's taken his wig off. <laughs> Richard isn't cheating, you are. Sweet the dog, I'm arresting you for cheating. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> Right, I'm arresting you. You can't blame them. They didn't realise that they were doing anything wrong. I encouraged them to try and beat Richard. If you must blame someone, then blame me. Right, I'm arresting you. Listen, if anyone's to blame, it's me. If I hadn't been such a big head and showing off all the time, none of this would have ever have happened. Right, I'm arresting you. Colin! Uh, yes, miss? Why don't you arrest yourself and take yourself as far away as possible? Uh, good idea, miss. Uh, Colin uh, Marion Dogbolter, I arrest you for being uh, a right pain. <laughs> you know, we're all really sorry for the trouble we've caused. But you've stolen the hearts of our audience. The phone lines have been jammed with people phoning in, saying they wish they had friends like yours and helped each other so much, even if you didn't win the million pounds. Didn't you? No, sweet, you didn't. Oh, and Richard, they loved your comedy magic act. Oh. Well, actually, uh, I prefer to do serious drama. Richard! What? <laughs> Say bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye, everybody! Bye-bye!